want to use this for the top right here. Fits amazingly well. So I want to use it. Alright. Let's see how much do we need for the bottom. Alright. Let's cut the first piece. Now before I'm going to put this down, I'm just going to watch and see how this goes. I do have a feeling. Now this one I'm just going to apply. I was thinking if maybe we could do something else with this page. I'm going to cut down one little bit of this feels that I need to cut this just a little smaller. I don't know yeah, actually how long my chair is holding because it's wiggling, standing on one pole, but I'm not feeling that something is wrong with that. So if you will hear a, a big bang, then I'm laying on the floor. <laughs> And I do have another chair, and that's actually a better chair, chair, chair. but I don't like it. I got, I get pain in my back when I sit on that chair, and it's on wheels, so yeah, I don't like it. So I think I will, I have used that maybe one day, maybe two days, but I just don't like it. I get back pain and with this fragile chair, I don't. <laughs> and I think even when it's got broken, then I think I will just get me another one I think all right let's cut this down just like that all right and then if I am correctly then I'm not cutting off the snout of the horse yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. That fits marvelous. Ah, but this one also, you would say it holds everything nice but still I need to cut this down just a little tiny bit of alright This one, 
Maybe we can. No, of course not, because we are going to attach those big tags. I always want to add things on a page. It's never enough with me. I don't know. <laughs> Who is related to that? It's never enough. Never enough. I always keep thinking, can we do not be a little bit more on this page? Maybe this page is boring. Why? Why is it boring? It's not boring at all. Well, we do have a big fat page, but yeah, we also need to consider how much paper do we want to use on a page. You don't need to have every page a big fat page. <laughs> this is beautiful also. <laughs> I'm talking to myself, guys. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, this would be nice on here to put in here. Ooh, nice. Maybe we are going to use it. Maybe. Let's go on the inside. Let's see. What shall we use? Oh, again. The beautiful page. I think we are going to do the blue on the inside. Yes, I think that's a good idea. So the blue does not have to be all the way, only this little piece. There you go. And yes, I know that if I used a nice color cardstock for the back pockets, then you would have plenty of papers left, but I did not do that, so my fault. So you could, you could do that. Maybe you have a nice color cardstock, or maybe, maybe you even can use. Um, my printables with a nice dot or stripe. If you have some of my printables, there are beautiful light color backgrounds to be print out if you want. It's just a suggestion. If you don't, if you wanna, if you don't wanna use that much design paper, but. Well, if you are having um, these big pages, I think it's never, um, what am I saying? It's just a good idea to just not do that big, that, I call that, um, big fat album with big pages. So. It's a good excuse. <laughs> it's a good excuse to not do a thick album, but a nice big album. This is definitely one of my favorite pages of all. Definitely. And now with this one, I almost get an itch on cutting and make an incision so you can add an extra tag in here. But is that necessary? I don't think it's necessary, but it maybe would be cool. What do you think? Help me out, guys. You say no, Diane. We have enough pockets already. Well, I know, but I also know that we have beautiful little tags. 
that we can use. So, it's all up to you. What do you want to do? There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cutting these paper loose are oh, killing me. Oh, I think I am going to use the back. Wait just a second. Wait just a second. I can't help myself. I definitely want <laughs> to do a nice pocket. An extra little tuck spot. Not a pocket, but an incision. All right. This is on my white one, and that is my left one. Let's check it out. Check it out. So the back of this one, of course, needs to be smaller. Where do we want it? Well, if I do have these nice tags, look at this, amazing. And it needs to fit in here, so you definitely need to um, oh this is a nice one. Yep, these two I like 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 yes. Okay. So I have here. Let's go for these two. Alright, so we definitely need to go almost all the way. So So what can I miss is this and this. This is what I can miss. To keep that still fitting. All right. Let's say Okay, and then I'm just going to make two marks, almost at the end, but not completely. Oh, we also can do that um, while this is on. Okay, where shall we put this on? This is a nice spot. Okay, okay, okay. And then we need to make, of course, the other one exactly the same. But I also can do that without you. Alright. A little hole in here, and then tum, ta -dum, tum, tum, and then we can cut. And I always like to cut two little incisions. Gonna flip this around. Just a tiny little millimeter. So you have 
to yeah see that it makes it easier to put your tag in and out Oh, let's see if the tag fits. And the tag fits. Ta da da dum ba dum. Alright. Now let me add this on the left page and then I'm going to make the other one exactly the same. How to glue on this one? Now we have the incision right here. So everything on top that incision we just can glue it down everything on top we can glue it down here we go glue this down and then below below the incision we only glue down the edges nothing more all right Put it on. Oh yes. Oh, this looks amazing. Yeah, yeah, yes. And here we have our little tag, which you and make it even nicer if you cut this out nice. Switch the edges and nothing more to be done because the back is already nice. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right, I really like that. Yep, an extra incision. So I'm going to do the same thing on this one. So, yep. Well, let's do that. All right, so I am going to decorate this booklet that I just made. And I am going to use that little girl on the horse. But of course, we do need to use our leftover pieces. So I had this one piece of this blue. And I think it matched. It will match perfect. Everything is flying away right here. Alright. There we go. It's almost... We almost have two birthdays this week. My hobby is... This Wednesday. Having his birthday and my daughter is the next day and she is going to be 21. Oh my gosh, where the time goes, the time flies. <laughs> and I must say I'm very happy that everything is settled. Well, not for 100%. And with what I meant by that is when she was turning 18, it was Corona. Um, when she was 19, but that is not not a, well, every birthday, every year is, is important. But when she was getting 18, it was devastating for me to see that she could not um, for, um, invite her friends over or anything we could not give a party and yeah it was that is not nice if you're going to be turning 18 so that she missed and then 19 came corona 
than 20 came, that was last year. Uh, okay, the Corona was pretty much not completely, but it was getting there. Um, and now she is 21. And now finally, everything is, yeah, I can't say that it's cooled down. You still hear, you still hear things, and of course, there are always things going on in the world. Always, not only Corona, but also war or any other um, nature uh, storms or earthquakes. Always, there is always something. But um, but yeah, here in Holland, it's pretty. Um, quiet right now so I'm so happy that she finally can celebrate her birthday finally <laughs> so yeah I'm very happy she just missed a few years can you imagine if you're turning 18 and I know it's not it's not the end of the world I know that but still imagine you are going to be 18 and you can't go anywhere that is not good for a girl getting 18 and yes 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 i know i'm i'm shouting girls and boys or gentlemen or women i am shouting it's not the end of the world there are better there are not um there are um i call that Worse of things than not celebrating your birthday. But still, it's not okay. We all need to celebrate our birthday. Especially when you're going to be 18. But now she's 21. She is almost 21 in a few days. And uh, I know she is expecting that I am going to decorate the house. And that I have a big cake and everything. <laughs> she is expecting that. And... Um, of course he is getting that tomorrow I need to have I do have already a few little things so tomorrow I will go and find me some more decoration things so yeah where time flies in 21 I remember that I bought my first house when I was 20, uh, 21 years old. Yeah, that's a very young age, I know, but yeah, I did. <laughs> Me and my hubby, we did bought our first house when I was 21 years old. I can't imagine that my girl is buying a house at that age. I, can't, I just can't imagine. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is a booklet, but I think I'm going to add a few pages in here, um, which I like. So let me do that. Not too much, but I'm just going to add three pages in here. And let's just fold this in half. There you go. It's nice. I think I am gonna. Well, it does fit, but I am gonna cut this down just, just slightly. I don't wanna. This is going to be peeking out, so I'm just going to cut down, and also from the edges, just a little tiny bit here we go and then I think it fits better yes definitely definitely fits better all right a nice little booklet all right let's go to the middle place it down on the correct spot 
um, use some clams if you want. And then I am gonna sew this in with just a needle and thread. All right. A little cushion, making some holes. You don't need to make a lot of holes, but sometimes it's also nice. All right, so, yep. Five holes I choose for this time. And let's grab a needle and thread, and then we're just going to put that together. All right, so I just grabbed a nice thread. I don't know why, but I do like to have it double. I'm just going to start in the middle. Grab the next one. Grab the next one. Go back. Sometimes this happens. That is not. Then I go in the thread, but that is not okay. So I'm just gonna try to make this. Yep. That is that. Okay, I'm good to go. All right, so then I'm just going back in here. Yep, and then I'm going here and here. Do the same thing, just the same thing. Yes, and then my last move is I'm going under with my needle right here. Yeah, and my thread is way too long, but okay. And then I'm just going to try to tie. Let me see if everything is nice. It is, and then I'm just going to make a knot in the middle. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's that. You can make um, the edges look more nice if you want. And then I'm going to find myself a piece of cardstock for the back. And then this simple booklet, but nice, is ready. You can use any paper you like. I just use this crunchy, smooched paper. But you so, so certainly can just use any paper you like to use. Maybe you can smooch them like this and then it's ready. I'm, I'm definitely gonna make a background piece and then it's done. All right, cool. Love it. I always love these booklets. Cool. All right, let's do something on the back. Um, <laughs> Okay, and my back looks like this. I added a little, how you call this? Tag, label. There will be a name for this, but I will like finishing touch. What do you think? Cool. Yep. 
nice 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 and then this is our closure i like it it's super cool maybe we are going to decorate this a little bit we do have oh my gosh we do have so many ribbons why do i not use my ribbons mm -hmm. Ooh. oh my gosh that is fancy what do you think you like this i do like this we have others this is also nice nice shiny shiny one with this oh with this one I should have wrapped this around with a oh. hole. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that is cool. Definitely gonna use this for another piece. White, blue. Oh, I think I'm gonna use this one. I just love it. So I am gonna cut this at the right size. And then I'm gonna glue this on with my fabric tag. Oh yes, definitely. Cool. And then I'll come back to you. I think this is the finishing touch. What do you think? <laughs> I think this looks amazing. If I may say so myself. And then a big pocket. Or oh, we can add big tags in. Whatever you want. These little cutouts. Yes. Very simple. Yeah, I know. It is. But I like it. And then these big guys. Alright. Yeah. See, we can do flat. We can. Now we have space for another page. Yay! <laughs> Alright guys, see you next page. Bye bye! <laughs> okay guys, so we have finished two pages. And um, yeah, let's go to the next one. Um, so I am gonna because i love this this sheet and i do have one sheet left so i'm definitely gonna start with another uh clear sheet same as the other one and i am gonna do also a 1-8 because my tape is not too far away i wish i did not add it already the tape on so if you maybe watch it first, but i'm trying to to mention that in my video so i'm gonna try to edit that you don't need to put tape on already so you can make um a larger um opening so all right but i'm gonna do it with a 1 8 so yeah let's see so first i'm gonna make my page i'm gonna cut the right size you all know the drill so i'll be back once that's ready Okay, so I'm done with my little piece right here. Alright, so where to start? Alright, we do have that 1-8 extra. If you prefer using a 1-4, then please do. You never know with me. <laughs> Alright, um, um, what I did first. Um, I made a mark at the middle. Just a little mark right here for the middle and then i added two marks extra so this is my middle half inch if uh, that makes sense i think it does um i do have this left if i cut this in two then i can use this that's maybe a good idea i had this left because i had an idea maybe and I wanted to add this at the end 
or the clear sheet but then I changed my mind so I still have this little piece on the left so let me just cut this let me see if I can do that without too much trouble there we go so half inch and that is that we are going to use right here in the middle to split this page up so nothing will be in the way all right that's my first move split your page in two with a half inch piece of paper design paper there you go where my middle is and that would be right here I'm gonna stay away right here guys stay away I also want to check if I'm straight maybe I could have 538 wait just just a second I'm just gonna peel this off right away because maybe it was even a good idea to check if I am straight. All right, five and a half. Make some marks, guys, if you don't trust yourself. And sometimes I don't. And I don't want to start with a not straight project there we go okay I think that is now this is straight okay so I'm definitely gonna so yeah make some more marks if you don't trust yourself and I did not so I think it's better. I think there is something in the way with my glue again. I need to clean that in a second. So now I have to squeeze real hard. We get muscles. Alright, so now I'm just gonna follow the bottom line to make sure that I am nice and straight. Alright, guys. Burn that down. That's my start. Okay, now I hope I am nice. <laughs> I am nice, but <laughs> is it straight? <laughs> yep, now it's straight. Okay. <laughs> I clean up my bottle just a second and then <laughs> we start. <laughs> oh goodness. Alright, so let's grab some papers. Um, you're going to make a pocket with an opening on this side. Okay, so... Can I make two pockets? I don't want to know. No, we can't. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with this piece. Make a fold line and I'm going to make another fold line right here so I always like making two fold lines right away saves a little bit of time then I'm gonna put this at the bottom and then I make a mark underneath that half inch and let's score and cut this piece There you go. I 
like to use double-sided tape. Here we go. Cut the corner, saves you bulk. Here we go. Now we're just gonna brush it all. we have our big pocket. Of course we do need to make this cut the right size but okay stay away and I'm just gonna line this up with my because I also stayed away at least two to three millimeters I prefer using the three millimeters away from this stay away three millimeters at least all right and then we are going to cut this down um, all at the end mm. well just one millimeter shorter same as where I added my strip so it's one millimeter short okay let's cut this down there you go do I like to have an incision with this one? Yes, of course, I like that. But let me first make that, well, we're going to need another one on the top right here, but we can do first the incision with this one. Let us do that first. All right, do we have a leftover piece that we can use? I'm just going to watch first what I have left. This is what I have left in the small pieces. This does not fit. I only have needed a strip. I think this one will do. I think this one will do. All right, let us cut this the right size. Wait just a second. Maybe the other one is not particularly the same. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to split the half because I want to have the half of that other, for that other pocket. So, and maybe that one is just a slightly bigger or smaller. I am not think it is, but you never know. So, I'm going to split this in two. I'm going to use the scrap queen way to do that. <laughs> All right. Where was the one where my mark is? Here is the one. All right. I'm going to use this. Fits marvelous. All right. So let's grab our template. And let's make a nice. Yeah, I can use this one. But I like this one way better. So, yep. Let's do that. Um, eyeball this in the middle. Yep. Here we go. Yeah. And then we are going to cut that out, same with the other one, well not the same with the other one, but at the same time, at the same time, save your time and it will be perfect. Alright guys, I'm going to cut that out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then it's going to be looking like this. So fancy. God, I love it. Perfect. All right, now before we continue, I am going to make that other pocket. So this is going to be right here at the bottom. Let me add this first so I don't mess up. Okay, peel off first the bottom, 
place this nicely one millimeter away from the end can't get enough of this method Here we go. One pocket. Yeah, cool. Alright, so let's do the other one. I'm gonna grab another page. Again, I just like to make two score lines. Yep, and we're gonna do exactly the same. on this so I can see a little bit better all right put this at the bottom well now it's the bottom but it's actually the top and again I'm gonna stay one millimeter away from that half inch and then I'm gonna score and cut Yeah, 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 yes. Oh my gosh, this is totally on my glasses. Okay, I'm super excited, guys. I need to go to the store today to get me some decoration for my, for my daughter's birthday tomorrow and my hobby's birthday, but my daughter's is a little bit more important. Don't tell him that. But it is. This this year it is. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot to... Well, wait just a second. Let me cut. <coughs> Let me cut the corners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot to cut this. And the correct size we will and I'm gonna cut this exactly the same as this one exactly the same here we go Yep, and now we do have that other piece of design paper. And we are going to cut this down also. Here we go. Save all your little bits. Save your paper. Yep, and now I'm going to make exactly the same notch as here. And then we'll come back. We'll come back. I'm talking in multiple persons. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy, I know. Okay, so far so cool. So good. Now I was noticing that this would fit perfectly. So I am going to use this strange size. And I do have two of these. So let's see. I hope I am correct. This one is. Well, this one is also. Okay, cool. Let's cut this down. Let's, oh, this is shorter. I was almost thinking that I would go away with this. 
but since this is so low, so small, I get away with that. Stop, nobody knows. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody that this is a little shorter. Our little secrets. Here we go, put that in the pocket on the place just on the same side as the pocket there we go looking good pocket pocket love it okay so far so cool now we have a place right here which we can still use we can do something with that. So, um, save your little pieces always. So, let's see. I do want to have a small water flow on it. Let's see how. Let's see how we can do that. <laughs> All right. So, let's get started. Let's see. This is too short, but I still can use this way. Now, first, we are going to see. Um, how deep I think I can use this what size is this if I make a mark is it then the same size for this one yep okay I'm gonna measure this I suggest you would do too with yours let's see mine is a f oh it's in between it's in between it's a well let's say it's a five three eight i'm gonna cut mine at five three eight let's do that yeah means that i need to score this side so this is a five three eight and on that side i do make a score line and now we're gonna decide five three eight. Otherwise I will forget. I will. <laughs> Alright, so now we are going to measure. Alright, so this fits beautiful on here. See that's a nice small millimeter smaller as this page. Alright, now I don't wanna overlap this this too much. Um if I'm gonna have my ruler at the bottom, then I have, let's say, a 4 3 4 left. And I don't want to make it too small, but if we make it 3.5, do you have plenty space for a photo, or do you want to have a 4? I think, I think this is enough for a nice photo. So I'm gonna make it 3.5. That means that I can one, two, three pages on here. So I think that that will do. And then this is going to be a three and a half. Okay. So at the end, we are going to be needed six pages of this. I think this is a nice nice size for photo you can adjust your photos all right let's grab oh i do need to open this up otherwise i am not seeing that it's a five three eight all right a five three eight this is even a shorter one i know that five three eight on this side, I need to score, so I'm gonna flip this. 
fold it over and then I'm gonna cut it three and a half. Yeah, all right. Yep, okay, that is what we need. Do I have some leftover pieces? Of course I have some leftover pieces. Can I use this one? Let's check it out. Ooh, yes, I might be. Always check your leftover pieces. Five, three, eight. And let's. Score half inch. And then this should be a three and a half. Yes. Okay. That's my number three. And I do need three more for the top. But let me first start with this one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add, why is this not? Hmm? Why is this not the same size? Okay. Maybe I need my glasses. <laughs> What size is this then? Oh, this is a 5.8. Oh, yeah. See, I do need my glasses. <laughs> okay. Thank God it's not shorter. All right. So, we are going to attach some tape on these hinges. There you go. I think it's not particularly needed to cut this in a little angle, but I'm just going to do it anyways. Just a tiny little bit. Just a tiny little bit. Tiny, guys. Just a tiny little bit. Okay. Let's peel off the first one. And let's add this at the bottom. I was thinking that I would see that better, but it's not. It's brown on brown, but we manage. Okay, that was the first one. one place this nicely against against your other hinge and our last one Again, place this the same as the other ones. There we go. Look at that. A little waterfall. Cool. Could have made another one, but I don't think I like it, but all right, so now I'm gonna cut the other ones for the top. And then I'll soon come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my ends are uh, five, three, eight, and then this direction is three and a half, but I think you all remember, can remember that. Five, three, eight. And cut three and a half. Ooh, can I make another one? Maybe. Let's check it out. I can. 
beautiful. Now I have just one more. Check out, check it out, check it out. Which one, which one fits? None of them. None of them will fit. Unfortunately, this one is too short. Nope. None of them. Alright. Nothing to worry about. We have plenty of papers. Full and see. Here we go. Now let's see. Now I do have extra one. So now I can check how it will look if I do four. How far am I? See, then I'm over crossing this a little. It's not that bad, but do I want it? I don't know, but I'm just going to add this one on here and then I'll come back to you and let's see if I decide to do four or three, but I think three is more than enough to place little photos on. <laughs> 